I, I don't measure the success of Sleep Chamber by, um, you know, the accomplishments that, that most bands would. Um, it would have been nice to, if the tour went well, it would have been nice if we were on HBO, but it didn't. And that that's not the kind of thing uh, Sleep Chamber is uh, structured around. Um, I, I, anybody that's familiar with Sleep Chamber will understand that we're multicultural, multi-individual. Uh, There's a lot of uh, perception in Sleep Chamber. It's not just about rock and roll, long hair and fashion. It's about mysticism, it's about uh, culture, it's about sexuality, it's about individuality, it's about more than one thing. And I hate the rock and roll mentality that the fashion has to dictate or the, the guitar solo has to dictate what kind of band or how successful you are. We, we've been doing Sleep Chamber, I've been doing Sleep Chamber for 25 years now and uh, I don't need to be a millionaire to continue. I'm quite content, although a, everybody could always be happier, I'm content with, with my success to this, you know, to this point. Um, we have stopped using the Bob Bichowitz, the girls. Uh, at that, at one, some point I looked at it and we had gone as far as we could with, you know, uh, female dancers on stage and performers and we weren't going to get any better. We had the best we could get and it was retired in a, in, while it was still successful. Um, we, we, the Barbiturates didn't make Sleep Chamber. The Barbiturates didn't even start till 1990, 89, 90, we started the Barbiturates. So it's not like Sleep Chamber got famous from fetish women, you know. Uh, we was, we were successful before the girls and we'll be successful now without them. It was just a time period of Sleep Chamber. We go through different phases as a concept of a conceptual uh, formula, we go through this and it changes and I think that keeps it from being stagnant, you know. I, it's not like I'm afraid to be pigeonholed into a category. I've been pigeonholed into categories, industrial, sexual, fetish, whatever. It doesn't matter. What matters is to me, Sleep Chamber, to me, it's a personal outlet. It's a personal formula. It's alchemy. It is not rock and roll. It's not music. It's not competition. What you see in Sleep Chamber is a personal evolution of me and quite possibly the people that are involved in the music at the time. I've had very many, I've had at least 40 different barbiturates. I've had at least, uh, at least the same amount of band mu musicians come and go. Um, Sleep Chamber will go on as long as I can continue to do it. Uh, I'm not, uh, I get a little burnt out on it. But uh, I don't think I'm tired of it. The, uh, it might slow down a bit, and that only means that I'm not financially able to back it the way I would like. But that doesn't mean anything. We will still continue to put out music, and, and uh, we will still continue to put out uh, a cultural, underground culture that like-minded people are interested in. Bands come and go, co uh, concepts come and go. Uh, whether you, whether you like Sleep Chamber or not, uh, I feel most people, critics, DJs, whatever, will admit, even if it's not their style of music, they will admit that Sleep Chamber is a form, is a anomaly. Okay. Currently. Sleep Chamber being probably the, one of the most obscure bands in Boston has put out more product, more uh, CDs and albums than any other band in, in all time of Boston, any other local band in Boston. We've put out more product. And that's because we're always working with music, we're always uh, playing live, we're always doing something. But for some reason, um, the, the DJs in Boston and the critics fail to put us in a category of a band or music, which I love, you know, because 
I thrive off that more than I would if they kissed my ass. They they don't think we're real music or, they, or what we do. Even though we could have sellout crowds, even though we can have uh, 18 different CDs or how many uh, pieces of vinyl we could have existed for 25 years, for some reason we can do everything rock and roll bands can do, but we're not considered a band. We're considered an anomaly, something different. Hey, I'm comfortable with that. I didn't set out this concept to, to prove that I was a rock star. We do get a lot of ne negative image, you know, and that's, that's not a worry of mine, just as long as it's, you know, not too misconceived as, I mean, with the Satanism and, and uh, you know, the things, sometimes there are things that do bother me, you know, the people assume that we have something to do with Satanism or devil worship or, or uh, sacrificing animals if anything we're we're animal activists uh, our belief systems are all individual and they they none of them as far as I know have anything to do with the devil or even for that fact uh, Satan worship or satanic as in uh, Anton LaVey you know um, we, we're not even you couldn't even put us in the category of being interested in Anton LaVey we have our own concept. It's not necessary to know it. It's not necessary to, uh, you know, to, to know everything about us. All you're supposed to be interested in is what is presented to you. You know? You need to feel secure, to have the answer to things. It's a, uh, uh, it's a form of power. You know, if you have the answer to something, then you can catalog catalog it. You can you can rationalize it. It makes you feel good to have the answer. It's a form of it's a it's a small form of control. And once people can say sleep chamber is this, sleep chamber is that, then they feel like they can put us in a in a category and have the solution or the answer to what kind of music we are, uh, what kind of concept we have. Uh, uh, our insecurities, uh, weaknesses, whatever. This has no. This has no profound effect on sleep chamber at all. I mean, as as you can see through the years, either people really have a fascination for this concept, or they have a passion of hatred and dis dislike for us. And that's usually the way it goes with anything. It, anything that's powerful is going to have an it has it's going to have a complete opposite effect. As much as it is powerful, it's going to have something on the other side that's going to be um, against it, pro and against, like the yin and the yang. You're going to have equal sides. As strong as you are, as weak as you can be, you know. And that's the way it is with sleep chain. We have uh, many loyal and um, devoted followers or, or people interested in Sleep Chamber, we have, um, of a, we have a lot of really proud allegiance from people who are interested in us, but we also have a remarkable passion of hatred for us too, which it took a while, but I did get used to. Some people in the band can't conceive it, they can't understand it, but it does take a while to understand the, the balance of power or the balance of um, popularity or, or discontent. Sleep Chamber has toured, you know, the United States, it's toured Europe. Um, right now, we're sort of, uh, I've got a new uh, lineup band. We're still in the middle of planning stages of what uh, our concept is going to be as far as, I mean playing out isn't a major factor. Us playing live or us touring is not like, uh, you know, it's not the, the most important thing to us right now. We're interested in going into the next stage or the next phase of Sleep Chamber, which will come out in different uh, aspects of its projection, whether the, the music is different or the, the concept of the uh, presentation. 
things will be different. I mean, there's a natural progression with any musical concept. It, it, people mellow out, or, or, or people um, lose their talent, or they get insecure. If anything, I think this will be one of Sleep Chamber's uh, mightier moments. I mean, I personally think it's going to be the strongest sleep chamber or the most profound sleep chamber to date. And that, that comes from just the way we've been working on it and the way I feel right now. I feel like the earlier days were, uh, they were fun, but I think they were learning stages, you know. I learned a lot from all the t tours and the shows and the, the lineups. So right now, I feel like I'm adequate enough to make professional decisions or enough decisions that will make Sleep Chamber a more profound concept.